welcome back to another video and in this video we're gonna talk about how to fix Android 12 update my phone freezes or it's not responding properly and how you can fix this up so let's dive into it so we have a couple of methods which you can try out so the first one is all about you have to force reboot your phone sometimes you know after trying to reboot uh, your phone then you will be able to fix the issue up so even sometimes when you're f i mean the, your device is still frozen and you are not able to respond it back and you're completely stuck at a point you just have to press and hold power button in order to do a forced reboot and most probably after rebooting the issue has to be fixed this is what you have to do and moving on to the next solution is all about you have to go for check for software updates this is what you have to do to do this you just have to go to here on the settings from here you just have to scroll down and you have to navigate to system from here what you have to do is you just have to scroll down go over to the system updates and you can go for check for updates and you have to connect to the Wi-Fi and you have to connect to the Wi-Fi and once it is done you have to check for the updates and if you are on the check for the updates and you'll be able to go to 4 you can check this up and this is how we can do this up and this is what we have to do now after this most probably the issue has to be fixed I mean after checking for an update the issue has to be fixed and if it's not in the scenario we have to go for the next step so next step is all about you have to follow the same instruction you have to go to settings let me go back so you have to go to settings and from here you have to scroll down and you have to tap on storage and from here on the storage now you have to check how much space it is available for you if the storage is less than 10 percentage then you should be deleting the unnecessary or duplicate files from the device storage manually and you have to clear this up and most probably this will be helping you guys and all of also followed by the next one is all about you have to go for check for any kind of updates so in order to do this you just have to go over here so the first step is all about you have to open your google play store and from here you just have to tap on the profile icon over here now from here what you have to do is you just have to tap on what you have to do is just have to tap on manage apps and devices and from here as you can see you will be having updates available right just have to tap on it so these are the available updates so if you're having any kind of updates as you can see i'm having these much updates so i just have to go for update all and once i'm done with the update all i mean all the devices are updated once it is done i just have to check up whether the issue is solved or not and if it's not solved i don't have to get panicked we'll be having a couple of steps to which i have to try out so the next one is all about you just have to close the apps which are not using this is what you have to do for example if you're not using any apps you have to delete it so to do this you just have to go over here on the settings now from here you just have to scroll down and you have to navigate to you just have to navigate to apps from here you just have to uh, tap on apps from here you just have to tap on see all apps now from here or you just what you have to do is you just have to select the respective app which you are not using or actually if you're having any kind of trouble so you just have to select the respective one for example you have to uh, sorry you have to select the respective one and we have an option called full stop right so you just have to tap on it and you have to go for ok and this is what you have to do and once it is done most probably just try out followed by the next method so these are some of the basic things which you have to try out so you have to the last one which i would like to make you notice is you have to reset your phone to factory defaults which is very important and you have to do this up so let's move to it so in order to do this you just have to follow this instruction that you just have to tap over here and go to settings from here in the settings you just have to tap on uh, you have to tap on system so sorry let me scroll this on so over here you just have to tap on system and from here you have to tap on advanced so you just have to tap over here so guys from here what do you have to do you just have to scroll down and from here we have reset options you have to tap on this and from here 
if as, as as you can see we have an option so what you have to do you just have to go for erase all data you have to go for factory reset so you just have to go for erase all data so you'll be having any kind of data so they'll be gone so you have to make sure that you have backed up all the details and once it is done you just have to delete, delete this up i mean you have to go for erase data so the font will be like a new one so these are the basic steps which you have to try out when you're having these kind of issues and i hope this video is helpful and when you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out